Today I'm going to demonstrate how to put your new home tower together. It comes with a great manual here. This is delivered right to your door. So it has all the pieces in here. You got your pump, your tonic A and B nutrients. Here's your timer as well. Shower cap and pH test kit. Most importantly, your rods. You got two different lengths of rods here. All the different sections of the tower. It's amazing how much they get into a box here. And this is a drain hose, so when you want to drain it. First, you're just going to put your wheels on. Very simple, they just screw it in. You'll tighten them down with a wrench. So these have the wheels built right on it, which is nice. It's only 24 inches wide, so two square feet is all you need. And you've got your base ready. We're going to set that aside for just the moment. Next, we're going to take the top part here. And um, it's really hard to see, but in here you have holes that are marked A, which are the two closest holes. And then you have B's that are the f holes that are farther apart. So the biggest mistake that I have people um, making, myself included, is they're doing the outside A hole instead of the inside of the A set here. So you always want to go on the inside closest to the letter A and then the closest hole to the letter B. So you're going to alternate A, B, A, B. So we're going to take our rods here with our washer and wing nut. So again, you want to put your stainless steel rod in the hole that's marked A on the inside and then put your washer and your wing nut on there. And you'll find the other one that's the 23 inch long rod as well and do the same thing on the opposite of that, which is the other hole marked A on the inside. You'll tighten these down. So these stainless steel rods are nice and tight. And that'll allow, allow us to start sliding on each section now. And then this is just like Legos, where it's going to be alternating. Again, A, B, A, B. So now we're going to go on the little hole that's marked B on the inside, and we're just going to thread this on. and they automatically will fit in. So if these weren't in right, they wouldn't line up here and they wouldn't snap together. Now we'll do this one, and we'll alternate. So it's this one's A, this is B. Now we're gonna go back to the A section here, which are the two holes that are closest together on the inside. That's the biggest key, making sure you hit the inside. We're gonna keep going here. So we've got four sections put on. Now we're going to put the extension rods on as well and make it easier. You can set it on your tower here. That way you can see the top. And these will just thread right on. This is going to hold your sections together. Make them secure. That pulls it all together. So as you've noticed, as we put these sections together, we create an area where a tube that the water is going to come up through. All right. So now we're going to keep going, alternating A, B, A, B. There we go. So we've got our four sections that we grow 16 regular pots, and then we have 16 baby green spots here. Now we're going to put the shower cap on, and again, you're just going to put them in the biggest holes that you see there. Real simple. And everything fits nice and tight. All right, so now we're going to put the pump on. It's real simple. You've got this blue hose that comes with the set. That's going to connect your pump onto the tower here, the bottom of the tower. So we, we created our tube, so this is where the water nutrients is going to flow through. 
again, we've made it so it's very simple to do. You don't need any of these attachments. This will just automatically fit right on here. And this just threads on. And the other end will go right on here, same way, just thread it on. Again, thread it all the way on so it's nice and tight so no water flows backwards. And then, then I'll go back on. Don't we bring this all back up here so that way you can see it. You have a float valve. Then you have these net pots. These are designed to just snap right in. So you just take it and snap in. Very simple. Just snap them in there. Just like that. The top sections, the baby green sections, don't need anything. You've got your port lid and then you've got your shower cap lid on the top. That just goes on and you're ready to go. Comes with a little timer. We've made this even more simple. When you plug it in, it'll default to outdoor, which is three minutes on and 12 minutes off. Or you can switch it to indoor, I for indoor, and that'll be five minutes on, 45 minutes off. This allows you to plug in two different pumps or two different towers. Do not plug your lights in here. The lights go directly into the outlet in your wall. That's another mistake I see happening is a lot of my customers will plug their lights in here. So now their lights are cycling on and off with their pump. So that's, that's not what you want to do. This is designed for another tower where you can use two towers on one timer. So plug your lights directly into the wall and uh, this will also go directly into your wall and then the pump plugs in here. So if those are the two things, the keys that you can do, you'll make sure that uh, it works right off the bat.